Hello, I'm Warren Officer Class 2 City Priority and I'm an advanced bomb disposal operator with the British Army. Today I will be demonstrating to you the 4030 lead bomb suit when infected by NP Aerospace. We'll start off with the trousers and donning the trousers. On either side of the, the trouser leg, you have trouser zips which allow for easy access of the foot. You also, allow, you also have vertical straps on the ankles and on the hips. Also along the knee with a flap that protects your emergency release top. Shoulder straps are located on either side of the hip, which clip into the front of the trouser and adjusted to the operator's needs. The same is done again for the other leg, where the zip secures the trouser into place. Ankle velcro straps secure the trouser even further along with the hip and then the emergency toggle protector located in the thigh. I'll now talk you through the safety features of the suit and as you can see clearly marked here with red is an indicator of a component part which needs to be removed during an emergency. The two straps on the front, the hip velcro strap, ankle velcro strap and then the emergency toggle protective velcro strap located just below the thigh. This emergency toggle is located on either side of, of the leg and is pulled by the operator, allowing the operator to get off the suit in under 30 seconds. On the front of the suit is equipped with molly straps which allow the operator to accessorize as required and extra padding on the knees when the operator is in the kneeling position for that extra protection and comfort. Now I'm going to talk you through donning of the jacket. On the front of the jacket, there is two zips, which is indicated by a yellow toggle for the inner jacket. The outer jacket is also secured in by another zip, again indicated by a yellow toggle, which is all secured into place with Velcro on the top and the bottom of the jacket. The jacket has two major safety features. First safety feature is a quick release identified here by the toggle. One pull by the operator releases the jacket along this seam here. The jacket also has two emergency drag handles located on the shoulders, which is secured in place by extra strapping. On the rear of the jacket, you have an elongated spine protector for that extra protection and various clips, points on the front of the jacket for your breastplate. A collar is high, uh, affording that operator extra protection should he require or she require. I will now talk about the 4030 breastplate. The unique curved feature of the, uh, of the breastplate allows for blast to be deflected away from the operator's face. The telescopic design allows for maneuverability and flexibility uh, for the operator and is anchored on four points on either side of the breastplate.
To secure, to secure it in place, the breastplate is adjusted with these two easy straps on either side. Now I'm going to talk about the 4030 helmet. Starting from the rear, we have a power button which powers an element which demists the visor. The wide visor allows the operator for clear fields of view uh, during an operation and also remains clear at all times. Towards the side of the helmet, it comes equipped with Picatinny rails to allow the operator to accessorize as required with torches or video. And raising and lowering the visor is done with a single arm action, which is located on the side of the helmet.